everybody back again uh, answering more questions from my Q&A video uh, let me see here okay looks like um, the whistling salmon uh, ask if I will do at some point a top five 80s movies top five action movies um, I will at some point and I'll shout you out whenever I do either one of those um, I'll try to get to them relatively quickly I got a whole lot I'm trying to get done um, but I will definitely try to get those up so you can uh, I'll have to think about it and kind of you know, grab some selections there. Uh, he wanted me to choose a random comedy from behind me and to review it, so I did that here during the break, and I grabbed this movie called Galaxy Quest. Um, Galaxy Quest, of course, is probably, I think, the funniest thing Tim Allen ever did. Uh, not a huge Tim Allen fan myself. I love the Toy Story movies, obviously. Um, but this is another funny movie if you have ever been to any kind of convention, whether it be sci-fi, horror, comic book, whatever else. Um, it's a riff on kind of the, the Star Trek uh, craze whenever all those were getting real big I think that was like the first like really fandom that the outside public started looking into and was like man it's like these people get together and they dress up in costumes and do things like that um, it's a really funny movie there's a whole lot of just quirkiness about it but the coolest part about this DVD is uh, you know while the, the movie is good there's a commentary track here that's all in the uh, Thermian language which is the aliens in this movie and they go through the whole thing so I think that that uh, in itself is worth picking this DVD up uh, again, it's funny. Uh, basic premise is you have this cast that was on a Star Trek type show that's been off the air for 20, 30 years. They're getting together at a convention. These aliens come and abduct them, basically, uh, because they have built their entire race around the thoughts and beliefs of this TV show, which, of course, is things like equality in you know race and peacefulness by you know knowledge and things like that so i would check this movie out if you haven't um if you have seen it say you know give your thoughts on it i think galaxy quest is a fun little movie and it's very funny uh in the in the same you know but it's also you know a sci-fi movie so there's something going on there so i would check that out um and again i will try to get the top five 80s movies and top five action movies out just asap um okay Ixthus, uh x uh which i believe is my buddy jason payne uh, he asks, what are some of my non-favorite horror directors? Uh, I, boatloads and boatloads of them. I love um, John Ford, as far as, you know, for Americans, and um, Akira Kurosawa from Japan. I think both those guys have just put out some killer movies. If you spent, you know, um, just your days and nights going through that catalog, you would find a lot of good stuff. Um, Ford, of course, worked with John Wayne a lot. Uh, I think he is kind of the guy that everyone steals from. Even if you've never heard from him, if you made a film, you've probably stolen from John Ford because there's a lot of things that he did as far as like cutting um, and different things like that that is just quintessential. Um, so check out those movies. Uh, Fox put out this massive box set a couple years ago that I don't have that I would love to get my hands on That was because it was like 250 bucks. So I just never ponied up for it. But it's got like everything that he did while he was at Fox. And that's the majority of his movies there. Um, so grab that, take a look through it. Akira Kurosawa, I think just about everything he's done is out now, either through Criterion and some of the later stuff through different labels. Um, just a master, you know, people have heard the name. You know, a lot of people, if you've watched things like Seven Samurai and kind of leave it at that, but the guy did just boatloads and boatloads of um, different stuff. Whenever he made uh, Ron, he was kind of chastised in his home country because it is a very Americanized film. Um, but again he's another guy that everybody stole from even if you didn't know you have so i would suggest you know running through both of those catalogs and again i could go for days and days as far as modern people i mean i i love tarantino uh, as do a lot of people um gosh i've drawn a blank here i mean there's been a whole lot of people in the last couple of years um i even like eli roth which i know a lot of people um don't i guess you're asking for non-horror directors but um i will just say this like for there are things that i don't like about all of his movies but I think he has a lot of fun making those movies, so I'll give it that. Um, next question was, do you like the movie Freaks? Uh, and that's Todd Browning's Freaks, for everyone who isn't in the know. Todd Browning also did uh, Dracula and a whole host of other stuff with the Lon Chaney Sr. Uh, way back in the day. I want to say that Freaks may be his first talking picture. Um, I should know this, but I, I'm, I'm pretty certain. This is a really interesting movie. Um, Basically, they used real circus freaks and filmed them. Todd Browning was a guy who, from Louisville, Kentucky, who worked in a circus and ended up jumping ship and getting, you know, down the road to Hollywood uh, in the heyday and just making this movie. Uh, very interesting. I mean, to watch it just to, to see, you know, some of the oddities that were there to see them perform. Uh, the story, 
is you know basically very light. They kind of set this thing up in the sense that you can kind of see each one of these people do the thing that they're known for doing, and then in turn like turn them into horrible, horrible characters. So it is exploitation at its finest for sure. Um, this you know basically changed so much as far as the production code. It was banned. Um, all over the place, and really, I don't think this really got rediscovered till like the 60s or 70s when they started running in colleges and art houses and things like that. But I do, I, I really do enjoy this movie. Uh, it's very short, I think, well, like an hour long, and if I remember, it's 62 minutes according to the box. I think the documentary that's on this DVD is actually a minute longer than the movie itself, but um, worth checking out, you know, for sure. So I, I do enjoy that movie. Um, he also asked, Are you a fan of William Gertler? Um, looking through, there's not a whole lot of his stuff that I'd seen. Um, I think I saw Grizzly at some point. Um, Sheba Baby, and um, I've got this version of Abby, which I think may be a bootleg. I bought a whole bunch of black exploitation films years and years ago off eBay to spot a box, and they were it, that was in there. It's basically a a black exploitation version of The Exorcist that they were just cashing in at the time. Uh, I I wouldn't really say that I'm familiar enough with the man's work to call me a fan. I mean, again, the movies that I have seen, I've seen them once or twice. I, I love. I'm a mark for Pam Greer, so. You know, Sheba Baby is definitely something that I've seen, but I uh, don't know enough about them. Again, uh, kind of interesting, more than likely, because you asked me this question, I wind up watching a lot of these movies and hopefully give you an update on that. Uh, you also want to know if I could do an update or a review of Wonderfest. I did a video that kind of was just a walkthrough of the model room. I had a really, really great time at Wonderfest. I have a lot of friends, new and old, that kind of show up there every year. Um, I also got to finally meet Harry Knowles, which a lot of people say I'm a dead ringer for. I had conversed with Harry through the years through email and things like that. He was a super great guy. Um, chatted him up a couple different times and you know on, on different things. Guy just loves talking about movies. He was super polite and I mean got nothing but good things to say about the guy. Um, other than that, I mean it was it was a great show. Uh, Dr. Gangrene did his live show. It was killer. I'm sure clips of that will be popping up on YouTube. The Rondo Awards were great this year. Um, some people that are here on YouTube that were you know, either in the audience, uh, Robert Scott, you know, got his award. He just put up a video. Um, he's worth checking out. I'll try to put his link down in the bottom. Just a great artist. He did the one of the fan artists. It, it was a good show altogether. I didn't get to see as much as I wanted to, just because I was. We were we were moving through. I got there Saturday in the afternoon. We did Larry's show, and then by the time you know we got done and kind of got to talk with everybody Sunday, we kind of spent half the day and then headed back to Nashville. But it was a great time. Uh, again, I hope you got a chance to see that video and. I'll probably be writing something in my blog in the next couple days that kind of outlines a little bit more, so check it out there. Um, if you know where it is, I'll try to put a link to that at the bottom, too. So, anyways, um, there's that. Let's see. Uh, Storm and Norman 4 asks, he says, I'm a relatively new subscriber, and I hadn't known you yourself were into film production. Has any of your work oh, is any of your work open to the public? Also, which writers, directors do you find most is inspirational? Um, a lot of my work you can see right here on YouTube. If you search for my name, it'll pop up different stuff. Um some of the better known stuff I did a music video for Quiet Company that played on MTV uh, the PSAs I did with Dr. Gangrene got some uh, really nice national acclaim got nominated for a couple Emmys and things like that and if you search Go Green with Dr. Gangrene you can watch all that stuff um, other than that I work on his show here in Nashville uh, and it basically airs here in Southern Kentucky and you can catch clips here and there um, I'm working on a movie right now which hopefully will be out to the general public sometime next year um, and I've worked on all kinds of you know little projects and if you go um, I hate plugging like IMDb and stuff like that, but if you go over there, you can you can kind of see those movies, and they're not hard to find if you really really want to watch them. Um, I worked on a lot of you know cheesy low budget horror flicks that are out there, and um, just things like that. But I mean, the biggest chunk of you know that you can find it either for free or if you want to rent it, it's it's around. Um, as far as writers directors who I find most inspirational, inspirational in the classic sense, I think uh, Capra is still you know your your best bet. Um, stuff like It's a Wonderful Life, uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. It's just I think it just kind of captures a whole lot of what just the spirit of like trying to do better as a man is about. I think Capra nails that perfectly. He uh, Meet John Doe is another good example. Um, I would say as far as inspiration, you know, inspirational to make you feel better about yourself, that's where I would go to. Personally, inspirational for me, uh, it's Robert Rodriguez, hands down. Um, the guy's book did change my life as far as reading that. I was like, man, I, I can make movies. You know, he made a mariachi for seven grand. And it's just like you read it and you're like, man, this guy just went out and did it. So any I, anything he puts out, you know, I will go to. Um, 
I took my kid to see shorts last year. She loved it. You know, I see everything from the Sin Cities to the Spy Kid movies. I think they're, it's all great. There's something to be learned from all that. So there's the guy that I would say is most inspiring to me right now. Um, let's see. And Foggy Sunday asks, he says, nice video. I'd love to learn more about the film you're planning on shooting. Um, I will be telling you more about that as the year goes along. And I promise you we'll be asking a lot of you to help me plug it and talk, you know, talk it up. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about it right now. I'm still writing it. Uh, I have everything outlined. It's just a matter of sitting down and getting it all happen. I can tell you we're going to be shooting it in parts of Kentucky and here in Nashville. So if you're close and you want to get involved, send me a message. Uh, if you're from even some part of the country, if you can get over here, say I can definitely use the help. So anyways, I'm going to jump to uh, the next video here because I don't know where I'm at on my time again. But uh, see you in just a second. Bye.